Hi, you guys. It's Pastor Nick. Okay, um, I wrote everything down for you guys. Um, this might be one of the most important videos that you ever see. Um, I believe that we are living in the end times, and I believe that the rapture is coming soon. So let me uh, read this for you guys. It's uh, basically instructions for before the rapture and after the rapture. Now, how we know the rapture is coming is because of the parable of the fig tree jesus said when all of these things happen the kingdom of god is right at the door so there's wars and rumors of wars armies surrounding israel earthquakes the revelations 12 1 prophecy and the daniel 9 27 prophecy at the sdg summit being fulfilled on september 18th 2023 famines tsunamis hurricanes the love of many will grow cold lawlessness will increase a huge surge in wickedness many will fall away from their faith in jesus christ israel was reestablished in 1948 the persecution of christians the euphrates rivers will dry up the red heifers in israel the third temple in jerusalem is being built false messiahs and false prophets the gospel will have reached every nation and been preached with the internet. People will be running to and from all over the world. Knowledge will have been increased through technology. In the Revelations 12.1, a, a woman was clothed with the sun and the moon was under her feet with a crown of 12 stars. That's happening September 18th in the constellation Virgo. Also, September 18th, the Daniel 9.27 prophecy will be fulfilled. For the document the UN is executing will mark the beginning of Daniel's 70th week in the Bible, which tells us the Antichrist will be revealed to the world three and a half years with the start date of September 18th, 2023. Now, nobody knows the time or the day, so don't quote me on that, but it could be before or after. We see the workings of the Antichrist developing all over the world. Many of Satan's plans have been revealed in regards to the great deception. We know that Satan is fighting for one global currency and, world re and one world religion. And we know that people are already starting to get the mark of the beast all around the globe. Do not get the mark of the beast in your right hand or on your forehead. Anyone who gets the mark of the beast will be eternally condemned. Those that get the mark of the beast are choosing Satan. Do not choose Satan. Your soul will be eternally condemned. Satan will be putting false images in the sky to deceive many with the use of technology. He will be deceiving many with false signs and wonders in the sky. To get right with God now, repent all of your sins in prayer to God in the name of Jesus Christ. Ask God for forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ and pray to God for his Holy Spirit. If you fully repent honestly and sincerely and turn your heart and soul over to Jesus Christ fully, God will forgive you. Get a Bible and start reading the Bible and obey the word of God and do everything you can to stop sinning. Donate to the poor, feed the hungry, give shelter to the homeless. Forgive every single person that you have that you have a grudge towards. Reach out to all of your enemies and forgive them. God says in the Bible, if you can't forgive others, how do you expect God to forgive you? Forgive everyone with a phone call, a text, or in person. These instructions I'm about to tell you will make you right with God should you not get raptured. If you do not get raptured, do not take the mark of the beast. Um, do not believe anything you see in the sky after the rapture for seven years jesus christ's second coming will be exactly seven years after the rapture jesus christ's second coming will be after the seven year tribulation period do not believe any of satan's tricks he will be trying to deceive many with false signs and wonders he will be using technology to deceive many in the sky and will be using technology to kill many to try to prove to the world he is god but it's all a sham. He'll be using scientific methods to kill people in order to persuade others that his powers are godly when they are not. 
Please know that if you hold fast to Jesus Christ in the Bible during tribulation, you will most likely be killed or beheaded, but this is good news. You will be saved and brought right to heaven. Be brave. You will be like sheep about to be slaughtered, but those that hold fast to Jesus Christ until the end will be saved. You will be condemned for eternity if you get the mark of the beast and if you reject Jesus Christ in the Bible in any way during tribulation. During tribulation, only demons will prosper. The, de the devil's minions will prosper for seven years during tribulation. Then at the end of the seven-year tribulation period, Jesus Christ will come and he will save all the people that repented and chose Christ. Tribulation, also referred to as Jacob's trouble, is mainly for the Jewish community that rejected Jesus Christ throughout history. The main reason for the tribulation for the living Jews that failed to recognize Jesus Christ as the Messiah. Jesus Christ is going to make it so awful here on earth during tribulation that the Jewish people will do anything to escape what is happening and they will turn to Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And Jesus will save them after they realize Jesus Christ was, is, and always was, will be the Messiah. Those who reject Christ during tribulation will end up in the lake of fires and face eternal damnation. Those that accept Jesus Christ as the Messiah, the Son of God, our Savior, will be saved at the end of tribulation. At the end of tri tribulation, every eye will see, every person that has ever died, Every person that is living, every single eye will see that Jesus Christ is the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. The King of Kings, the Messiah, the Lord of Lords, our Creator, our one and only God. Once every person has seen that he is in fact God, Jesus Christ and his heavenly army will defeat Satan, his minions, and all demons and sin and cast it down into hell for eternity. All people dead and living at that time that believed in Jesus Christ and did the will of God our Father will be saved. So I know I gave you a lot of information right there, but uh, people are asking me, you know, how, how can we be saved and be raptured? Um, I went over all that and um, if for whatever reason you do not get raptured, you know what to do. May God be with you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I love you all. Uh, be brave in these end times. May God be with you.